just a quick update of how the garden's coming along. I'm finishing the last garden bed that I'm building for the spring, just in this area here where there's that little mound of dirt and to the left of that retaining wall. And so just a quick update of how things are growing and coming along. In this bed where I've got the retaining wall using old landfill bricks and stones I found digging out of the ground. This is a seed bed. Right now there's a variety of new vegetables, umbelliferae like parsnips and other root type of plants. Some compositi like, um, what is it, uh, broccoli, that's it. There's even um, some spinach in there. And we can see here the corn bed's doing well. We're starting to get corn tassels. And in this bed it's a spice garden or herb garden with thyme and tarragon, various other spices, chili peppers. The Brussels sprouts are coming along well. Uh, this spinach here has been servicing for three months. After that we've got lettuces coming in nicely and carrots. Uh, and the first garden I built, we're doing well. We go around this way. With uh, starting with radishes that I've already harvested. I'm letting one of the plants go to flower. Now it's bolting. So here is a radish plant that is bolting to flower and I'll collect the seeds from that as heirlooms for next year. Uh, the very next thing I planted was cucumber and you can see the cucumber growing quite well. Here is uh, my hand next to one of the smaller ones and one that's about ripe or ready to harvest is over here. You can see this cucumber another day or so and I'm going to harvest it for putting in for pickling. And after that is uh, an area of corn. This is just 12 corn plants but I wanted to grow them to see how well they grow in the shade and they do quite well. You can see the tassels are already on the tops and they're forming tassels inside to make the ears of corn already. So the corn has done very well. The pumpkin patch is doing nicely. We've got pumpkins growing in various places along the pumpkin patch. You can see one of them coming along. It's about the size of my hand now. Um, so there are several hidden in there. You can see them under leaves and here they're about. Uh, one of the species of sunflower is already flowered. The dark yellow and the light yellow, six of them are getting much taller and they're about to flower now. So they're doing very nicely. Uh, we're getting flowers finally on watermelon, which hasn't been doing too well here in this bed. Lots of flowers on cantaloupe melon. Hopefully we'll get cantaloupe soon. Then after that I planted tomatoes and they're flowering nicely now. You can see I'll have tomatoes in a week or two. And uh, here is uh, a few spinach mustard plants. They are also bolting, uh, going to flower and I will save the seeds from those. And a few lettuce to see how lettuce does in the shade. It does okay. Not as well as it does in more sun. Pepper plants, the Solanaceae like tomato, seem to be doing quite well in the shade. And this is all still my first bed that I built. This is some, this area of this garden has got um, soil armor on it in the form of straw or rye grass that's been cut and dried. And I start a bed of tomato plants with marigold flower in between them to keep the bugs off of them. These are a different species of tomato. They will form cherry tomatoes. There's small tomato for salad and such. And they are also flowering nicely. So I'll have cherry tomatoes soon. And here, like growing along the fence or on my peas, 32 plants. They're growing, but they're not growing very tall and they haven't been producing very much. I do get pea pods now and again 
like that one, but not a lot to harvest and store. So no success in the peas yet this year, followed by a large uh, fence area of beans, which just now are finally starting to create stalks and climb up the fence. So hopefully the beans will work out well along the fence. Those are green beans. Uh, some flowers, um, morning glories along the fence, just decorative. This front row here has cabbage that I planted about 10 days ago. And they are all starting to form their second leaf. So cabbage along the way very nicely, very quickly too. And these are the herb beds. You can see rows of basil and oregano, which you probably can't see very well from afar, but they are coming up nicely. And most interestingly, and why I've got the video camera out today, of the seeds I got from Seville, I wanted to get another update of how they're progressing. They cultivated after two months of waiting. Oh, sorry, they germinated. And now they're forming their leaves now. That just is just um, four days, three or four days after they ger uh, germinated out of the ground. So they're moving quickly. The rest of this bed is mostly chamomile plants. Lots of chamomile, 104 plants. Just couldn't bring myself to kill any that had germinated. And the last two rows out of the 12 rows in this bed, rosemary and dill. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see the dill, but the dill is just growing now. Just first, oh sorry, second set of leaves. Well, just a quick update.